This is Will Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed artist, the one and only Avni Patel. Hello, Avni, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? Oh my gosh, Avni, I'm doing so much better now that we are finally, finally speaking with one another. I wanna know, Avni, your work is absolutely gorgeous and the audience can see one of your pieces behind you. I want to know why for you, painting is rhythmic performance for you. Um, because it just gives you joy and happiness. Just looking at my painting colors, it's surrounded by nature, everyday life. And we need that rhythmic life right now with everything we're facing. So my work always been about happiness. And that's what I want my viewers to understand, like what color brings to your you in life there's something about the way that your paintings fuse color in movement I'm a director but when I mm -hmm. see your paintings I see choreography and have you been told that before yes I have because it's funny Will because my, I grew up around dancers in my oh family. my gosh stop it I had no idea yeah and I grew up in India and my sisters used to do off-Broadway shows. So I would go see them perform in theater and grew up in Bollywood um, neighborhood, you know, around my neighborhood where I grew up. So it was just like live to me and the colors spoke to me and then the movement spoke to me. So, Avni, yeah. Avni, in addition to being an amazing painter, you're an amazing storyteller. With every painting that I've seen of yours, there's a narrative, but what I love so much is that you leave it open to interpretation. It's almost as if you set the guideposts, but you yeah. allow the audience to almost lean in and maybe experience their, dare I say, choose your own adventure. Is that something that you're conscious about when you're painting? I am. Yes, definitely. I want my viewers to look at the work and be conscious about and not walk away. There's always a something a story or narrative, something happening with each creature, something is like having a conversation. That's what my work is based on, like everyday life. And yeah, that's what, <laughs> I love what I do. <laughs> I love my, yeah. And Avni, you can tell just in everything that you do, and we're just meeting today, but I'm so excited to be speaking with you because I have to also tell you that I love that, and I'm trying to say this right, I love that within the abstract, you create a world that's inviting. You know, sometimes there are some abstract artists, it sometimes seems a little too, dare I say, esoteric, almost like yeah. the painter is doing it for themselves. Look what I can do, look how clever I am. But Avni, you're able to still create a relatable conversation with your abstract work. Is that also conscious for you? Yes, it is. And I want to express my feelings and I want people to express their feelings when they look at the painting. Sometimes when you look at abstract, people just walk away and they don't want to come back. And with my work, I don't I want to make it abstract. But at the same time, I want people to get that feeling of movement and, you know, just like that vibration of like colors that exploding. And that's what I'm looking for in my abstraction painting. Another word that keeps coming up for me when I look at your work, Avni, and again, I want to remind the audience for more on Avni's amazing, amazing career and work, you can go to the links right below this video, is that your work, Avni, pulsates. It vibrates. There's, um, there's something intangibly, dare I say, vibrational about your work. Yeah, and and... You know, growing up, like both Indian culture and Western culture, because I grew up in India and coming up here, I was influenced by well-known artists, you know, like I wasn't taught that in India when I was growing up. And I'm like, oh my God, art can be so much. It can be vibration. It can be energetic. It can be like conversational with people. And that's what I, my work is, you know, vibrates to people when they were, someone comes to my studio they're like oh my god your work is so magical it just so talks to you and that's what I'm looking for my audience to have that vibe in my work well you have a new fan in will and I'm sure you, <laughs> I know you have millions because Avni 
another word that kept coming back to me is imagination. You obviously have never lost that inner child within you, which is so beautiful to see within an artist that when they're in their bliss, and I understand when I'm in my bliss, when I'm directing, it's like being a little kid. I'm curious for you in this time of, dare I say sometimes dis-ease, how are you able to keep going in creating this beautiful magic through your work? What keeps, what keeps Avni going forward? Um, believing in my own work and never give up because that's what I was taught like by my parents, just love what you do and keep going and don't forget where you came from. And that kept me going. And I also teach part-time. Um, so my students, you know, when I inspire them, I get inspired by them. So that keeps me going as well. Amazing, Avni. Listen, you are such an amazing artist who not only has obviously worked on their craft, but has done work on themselves to be able to be a vessel with the capacity to feel so deeply and to be able to, from that vulnerable place, allow that explosion to come out on a canvas. It's, um, frankly, it's, it's inspiring. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. And I wanna inspire more people and show them my work because, you know, being in New York is not easy, being an artist and, you know, get out there and knock on the wood. By 18 years I've been in New York and I never gave up. I mean, some people like, as an artist, you know, give up or, you know, they want to keep building their dreams. And as an artist, I want to keep building my dream. So. I love it. Well, I hear you. I'm, I'm a born and bred New Yorker. My husband and I live in Midtown. And where are you at, Avni? I'm in Brooklyn. I was born in Brooklyn. I love it. I know. I love Brooklyn. I never wanted to move out. I'm like, this is the place where Brooklyn, I want to be. In Brooklyn, is it's, it's like its own beautiful um, artist colony. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And well, it has like different neighborhoods and it has that charm. Each neighborhood has its own charm. <laughs> absolutely. So, well, listen, yeah. my final question for you is, you know, in this time of... Um, you know, sometimes, like I said, dis-ease, unrest. I'm curious to know if there are any works that you've currently, um, that you're currently working on that you're excited to hopefully sooner rather than later put out into the world. Yes, I have. I am working on, I just finished a painting, but I need to do final touch-ups um, that I'm super excited about. It's the end of the year. And um, there's another painting I'm going to start working on which is a perfect circle painting, which I found somewhere sitting around. So I found a perfect circle canvas, um, which I'll be painting on. So, uh, well, yeah. I can't wait. Again, I wanna let the audience know for more on the amazing Avni Patel. Her website is below this video. All of her links are below this video. Avni, once things start to open up a little bit post holidays, I have to come meet you live and in person because you yourself have this special vibration, dare I say this, it factor. And um, I'm so excited you're coming on board this amazing new app. I'm so grateful. I've gotten to speak with over 300 different painters from around the world, from China oh, wow. to Japan, to India, to Australia, to London, to the United States, to South America, you name it. And um, it's just so cool in a reminder to me, in a world that sometimes likes to focus on the negative and the divisive, that there's yes. something very special about art, particularly painting, that is a universal transcendent language. Definitely, it is very universal and it speaks to you. And on my work, I want people, it speaks to them. Every time they look at my work they, I don't want them to walk away keep coming back <laughs> that's what I'm looking for in my work and well, if I see you in person I want you to it's like pictures don't make a justice you have to see the painting in person because there's so much going on in the work and that's why I need to see you live and in person sooner rather than later um I can't wait to see uh I can't wait to see your work live and in person because again already on a screen it pulsates it dances yeah. It moves yeah. me. And that, so if, it, if that's the case on a screen, in person, it's probably a million fold. 
Definitely. And, I, you know, I have a painting, actually, a show right now in, uh, in Chelsea. Talk about one it. Of, Talk about it. So, where, so tell us more. So I have a painting in one of the art galleries, Shoshama. It's on 23rd and 8th. And one of my paintings is in the show right now. It's homegrown. That's the theme of the, you know, um, title of the art, art show. And um, the address is 340 23rd Street, Shoshama. It's on the ground floor. So one of my paintings is in the show right now. Oh my goodness. Well, everyone, if you're in New York for the holiday, please check out the amazing, amazing Avni Patel's work. And you are so incredible, but again, you know that. You've won so many <laughs> awards. I could have gone through your bio, but you, I wanted to get to know you a little bit more and also just selfishly to let you know how much your paintings, just even on my screen, moves me so much so that I cannot wait when I'm out and about um, to see, meet you in person and get to see your work live and in person as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting you, Well, Thank you again. <laughs> Aw, you too, Avni. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Best wishes, okay? You too.